Alright, today we're at Guernsey in the Channel Islands. Um, we're going to take a trip, it's a beautiful day. We're going to take a trip about 300 miles to the north. I'm going to visit the Isle of Man. We're going to fly across uh, Devon, then up through the entire length of Wales, and then to the Isle of Man. Hopefully the weather's just as good up there. I haven't checked what the weather's doing. But we should be okay. Got a bit of cloud about. Very high, well for the UK, outside air temperature. Got a bit of glitching going on that hangar there. This is the Earth Simulations Guernsey scenery which is absolutely fantastic. Of course it's not available anymore. So if you want to get it working, you're on your own, but this is P3D version 4.2. Uh, so we're going to do this as a, just as a visual sightseeing kind of trip. And we've got the FTX Wales region, as well as the, UK, as the uh, England, EU England region. Alright, runway 09. Give us a bit of flaps. Short runway here. So we basically want to be making a left turn onto route, but I think what we'll do is we'll just take a bit of a, a bit of a low-level tour before we do that. Airport down there. So let's head on to a route. I've got a flight plan. we can enable, we're going to activate that, so we're going to autopilot, GPS nav mode, we're going to take it up to, let's see, we're going to 9,000 feet, so you can get above this cloud. I'm using a flight plan on the Reality XP GNS 530. There's a new feature in the version 2 RXP GNS 530 which, which is a great feature over and above the original 530. That is you can load and save flight plans. And it does that by I guess emulating a data removable memory card essentially. So you just put your flight plans into a particular folder in the Garmin Trainer data area and then those flight plans appear for import when you open the GPS flight plan screen. The flight plans can't be FSX or P3D format, they have to be in FPL format. But that's great as well because you can create those directly with SkyVector. So I've created a flight plan today with SkyVector and uploaded that and we're flying that just on the GPS so we're going to head across just open water for now for 60, 60 miles or so we're going to make landfall at, at about Exeter then we'll fly across Devon and then over the sea again towards uh, Cardiff next So we're approaching the coast of Devon now. That's Berry Head straight ahead. And then we've got, well I don't really know this area very well, but I think we've got Torquay on the far side of that bay. 
if you're a faulty towers fan and then we're just going to fly across this this is quite a thin slice of, of England you see it on the GPS so we're getting our first look at EU England FTX EU England on this trip and it looks pretty good from this height although kind of hazy now it's uh, it's not looking great we're kind of in a just about in a cloud layer actually that's got to be Exmouth down there and then Exeter over there so we've been across open water again and now another landfall this is the southern coast of Wales and that's going to be Cardiff Airport right ahead Do a bit of a loop overhead. There's some kind of industrial complex here. That's probably something recognisable if I were to um, look that up on the, the map. Just see the airport off out of the right, right hand window there. It's a very nicely done airport. We've got cars down there in the car park. We've got a bunch of big jets on the tarmac. We've got some general aviation aircraft down there as well. So I think we'll head back on route now. Going to Nav, we're going to stay at 3,000 feet. We'll see a little bit of Wales from this height. I'm guessing some of that surround is photoreal terrain that's modelled with the Cardiff Airport. I think Cardiff comes free with the Wales region. If I remember rightly, I don't think I bought that separately. We've got some nice industrial stuff over there. Not sure what that is. So we're heading, we're back on track now, we're heading up to the next waypoint. And that's going to be Brecon. There's a there's a VOR at Brecon. Uh, we're going to fly to that and then make another turn. So we're looking at the Brecon beacons ahead. There's a wind farm up on the hill over there, which is in the distance. I think sometimes these cloud shadows can be when we've got very hazy conditions and we've got cloud shadows. When you're right underneath them, that looks kind of like the ground is grey dark grey. So we're getting into some nice mountainous terrain here. I won't be able to identify these hills. I have done, I am somewhat familiar with the Brecon beacons, but um, not familiar enough <laughs> to identify individual peaks from this altitude. Another nice thing about P3D over FSX is I've got shadows turned on, ground shadows from the trees and um, I'm not sure if I've got ground shadows for, for buildings turned on and particularly when you get towards dusk, well later in the, in the day and those shadows get quite long, it's, it's visually quite appealing and it, and it does again add to the realism incrementally so we're just making that turn now over the Brecon VOR and we're going to head up through mid Wales 
en route. Oh, that's nice. We've got some windmills down there. So the next waypoint, we're heading for this odd-shaped lake here, which is just coming into view up ahead. And we're going to descend. Let's see, we're at 3,000 feet. Let's go down to... Let's go down to 2,000 for now. So what are we doing here? Well, that town right up ahead is called McCunless, and in case you don't know, that's the Mac in the Mac Loop. So we're just entering the Mac Loop, which is the well-known military low-level flying zone, and we're just going to fly half that loop in the Twin Otter. It's not going to be quite as gripping as it would be in a fast jet. We're only doing 160 knots. <laughs> but um, we'll see. So now we're going to head up to, let's, let's go with 6,000 for now. Those hills are done pretty well actually down there to the left. It's a shame we're going into some cloud. We're not going to get a good look at those. Six thousand isn't cutting it. Let's go to let's go to eight. So we're descending again to get below this cloud now. We've just left the Welsh mainland. Hopefully we'll be picking up some better visibility down here. Going down to five thousand, I might go down to four thousand actually. Got this cloud cover. So that's angle C. There's an airfield ahead. What is that? EGCK Carnarvon. So, what can we say about this EU Wales terrain? It's pretty good. It certainly looks great from altitude right down low when we were at 1,000 feet. Doesn't look quite as good. Don't forget we've got the land class. It's a land class based product. So when you look too closely at the joints between the land class tiles, they can be a little bit jarring. But you know, from a thousand feet, that's we're not going to complain about that. A thousand feet is too low really to be having great expectations of of the scenery. So there's that last turn. should be sending us pretty much due north. Let's try the 80s. Echo, Golf, November, Sierra, airport information, Papa, 1, 5, 2, 0, Zulu, weather, wind, 2, 0, 2, at 9, visibility, 1, 0, sky condition, few clouds at 600, ceiling, 2,000. 300 broken oh. temperature 172.14 QH 1013 advise on initial contact you have information Papa There's the airport
right. So there we go, that's the other man. We'll, we'll have a proper look at this, I think, on another day when the weather's clearer. But for now, let's park over here. Manx.com